Beer Power Beer is a term that we coined several years ago, and it basically means we're taking the raw materials, the leftover materials from the brewing production process, and we're turning them back in and reusing them to make more beer. Beer is not only just the end product, it's also part of the journey to get that wonderful liquid in the glass. Carbon dioxide, that, that effervescence that makes beer lively and, and you know, sometimes foams over the glass, is a very important component in, in its manufacture. So during the fermentation process, we blow off CO2 that would normally go out to the environment. And instead we capture that and reuse that to make our beer carbonated, um, purge our tanks, things like that. But this is one step. There's other parts of that whole beer-powered beer. In the making of beer, you take grain, but at the end, we don't convert all the grain to, to beer. On a 100-barrel system, we're putting in six, 7,000 pounds of grain at a time. So if we're doing this every three or four hours, that's a lot of grain that we're creating. We had to dispose of our spent grain in a way that we, we felt comfortable with. Over the course of five, 10 years, we developed a process that actually could use the spent grain as a primary fuel. And at its basic core is that we're taking the waste grain, we're burning it, we make more steam to run our brew house so we can brew more beer. It ended up replacing about 50% of our fossil fuel use because we were using spent grain as a primary fuel for a steam boiler. So the spent grain is used to make beer, the CO2 that we capture from fermentation is also used to preserve beer. So our consumer can have the beer that we would love to have them have. And with maybe some environmental uh, consciousness and also a mindfulness to try to reduce our waste streams. <laughs>